Hello! This is the reading for April 4th. David and Abigail. Nabal had been really rude and insulted David. Would Nabal's wife Abigail be able to smooth things out before David's anger got the best of him? 1 Samuel 25 10 to 28, 32 to 33. Who is this fellow David? Nabal sneered to the young men. Who does the son of Jesse think he is? There are lots of servants these days who run away from their masters. Should I take my bread and my water and my meat that I've slaughtered for my sharers and give it to a band of outlaws who come from who knows where? So David's young men returned and told him what Nabal had said. Get your swords. Was David's reply as he strapped on his own. Then 400 men started off with David, and 200 remained behind to guard their equipment. Meanwhile, one of Nabal's servants went to Abigail and told her, David sent messengers from the wilderness to greet our master, but he screamed insults at them. These men have been very good to us, and we never suffered any harm from them. Nothing was stolen from us the whole time they were with us. In fact, day and night they were like a wall of protection to us in the sheep. You need to know this and figure out what to do, for there is going to be trouble for our master and his whole family. He's so ill-tempered that no one can even talk to him. Abigail wasted no time. She quickly gathered two hundred loaves of bread, two wineskins full of wine, five sheep that had been slaughtered, nearly a bushel of roasted grain, one hundred clusters of raisins, and two hundred fake eggs. She packed them on donkeys and said to her servants, Go on ahead. I will follow you shortly. But she didn't tell her husband Nabal what she was doing. As she was riding her donkey into a mountain ravine, she saw David and his men coming toward her. David had just been saying, a lot of good it did to help this fellow. We protected his flocks in the wilderness, and nothing he owned was lost or stolen. But he has repaid me evil for good. May God strike me and kill Mech if even one man of his household is still alive tomorrow morning. Abigail intercedes for Nabal. When Abigail saw David, she quickly got off her donkey and bowed low before him. She fell at his feet and said, I accept all blame in this matter, my lord. Please listen to what I have to say. I know Nabal is a wicked and ill-tempered man. Please don't pay any attention to him. He is a fool, just as his name suggests D but I never even saw the young man you send. Now, my lord, as surely as the lord lives and you yourself live, since the Lord has kept you from murdering and taking vengeance into your own hands, let all your enemies and those who try to harm you be as cursed as Nabal is. And here is a present that I, your servant, have brought to you and your young men. Please forgive me if I have offended you in any way. The Lord will surely reward you with a lasting dynasty, for you are fighting the Lord's battles. And you have not done wrong throughout your entire life. David replied to Abigail, Praise the Lord the God of Israel, who has sent you to meet me today. Thank God for your good sense. Bless you for keeping me from murder and from carrying out vengeance with my own hands. Abigail and Nabal were complete opposites in the way they acted. Nabal was as mean and rude as Abigail was reasonable and kind. Thankfully for Nabal, Abigail's apology was enough to calm David down after her husband's rudeness. Be careful what you say to people. Insulting words are powerful. But words of apology are just as powerful in a positive way able to make a situation better. If you've made somebody mad by what you've said, tell that person you are sorry. Ephesians 4.29 Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful, so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. And that's our story for today.